nations. Now, and then he say he shall wound the head of many countries. Even right here in Revelation, say he shall smite the nations with the sword from his mouth. He's going to speak the word, and you're going to die. This is what the Bible is letting us know. Zechariah 14 said that their eyes shall melt in their socket, and their tongues shall cleave to the top of their mouth. Why? Because that's the, all the killing Lord is going to do. Go ahead. And he shall rule them with the rod of iron. Uh -huh. And he treadeth the wine presses of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. Uh -huh. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And this is talking about Almighty Jesus. Let's go a little bit further. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 66. Because if we're going to touch on the Jesus of the Bible, we can't only touch on his grace. We got to touch on his wrath also. We got to teach both sides. We understand that he's a graceful God, a forgiving God. But it only going to go so far. You only can reject everything he say for so long. Then you're going to experience his wrath. But thank God he's given us a chance to repent. Thank God he um, have programs like this where you can realize, hey, maybe I'm not serving the right Jesus and get a chance to repent and accept his grace. But if you don't change, this wrath is what you have to expect because it has to come to pass. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15. Let's look at some of the characteristics of those who the Lord is going to kill. This is one of the things that they are doing. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. Brother, when you get there, go ahead. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind. Brother, has that happened yet? Nope. All right, go ahead. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Uh-huh. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Now he said the Lord plead with all flesh by his sword. We already read he going to fill the place with dead bodies. We already read a soft sword to go from his mouth and wound many countries. And he's talking about the exact same sword now, but go ahead. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Uh, not a few, but many. Go ahead. They that sanctify themselves. Now notice it says sanctify themselves. And what else? And purify themselves purify in the gardens. Purify themselves with their own doctrine. What do they do? Go ahead. Behind one tree in the mist, eating swine's flesh, uh -huh. and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. So you mean the Lord is going to kill you for eating swine's flesh? That's what it says. So that means all the way at the end, when the Lord comes back, the dietary law is still good, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, his word cannot come back to him void. So if the Jesus you believe in, say all you got to do is pray over some food and you can eat it, then that's not true. Because if it's unclean, then this is going to make God a liar. Let's go to 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. Let's see if Jesus is in line with this. Because here it said that he going to come in flame and fire, right? Let's see who it is coming in flame and fire, executing vengeance. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, and we're going to start at verse 7. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 7. Brother, when you get there, go ahead. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from, he from heaven with his mighty angels. Now, this is the Lord Jesus, right? Yes, it is. This is the biblical Jesus. Remember, he said, search the scripture, but they testify of me. Everything that the scripture say is I'm going to do, I have to do it because my word cannot come back unto me void. I am not a liar like man. That's why the Bible said, let God be truth in every man a liar. Go ahead. He said in verse 7, And to you who are troubled with us, for the Lord Jesus Christ shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, in what? Go ahead. In flame and fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God, uh -huh. and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, In flame and fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now remember, this is the biblical Jesus. This is the Jesus of the Bible, not the Jesus that our ministers are telling us every Sunday, which is the wrong day, because the biblical Jesus in Luke chapter four kept the Sabbath day because that's what his custom. The biblical Jesus say, if you love me, you're going to keep my commandments, not call upon my name. That's why it's important for us, behoove us to go and search the scripture for ourselves. And make sure that Jesus that we put all our faith in, the one that we really believe in is the same one in the Holy Scripture, because if not, we're going to be in a, for a rude awakening, a rude awakening, because we don't want to happen what's going to happen to some of these people that Jesus said here in Matthew chapter 7. Flip over to Matthew chapter 7, and we're going to wrap it up. Matthew chapter 7, and we're going to read verses 21 through 23, because some people say, well, I just know, I just believe, I just believe, I believe that my Jesus is right, I just know, and I believe 
You, you can believe some acid is Kool-Aid and drink it all you want. You still won't live through that. No matter how much faith you think is Kool-Aid or iced tea, it's not going to change. And that very same thing, if you just believe that the Jesus you believe in is the right one without searching the scripture, this could happen to you. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Brother, when you get there, go ahead. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Uh -huh. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. So he's saying that not everyone that call upon my name going to enter into heaven, do they? Mm -hmm. They can say, Lord, Lord, all they want. They can say, praise the Lord Jesus' name and all they want. But if they don't do the commandments, they don't do the things written, then what's going to happen? Go ahead. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Uh -huh. And in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works. Now, these are religious people who believe in their version of Jesus. And what the biblical Jesus is going to tell them, go ahead. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. And that's the biblical Jesus. So it behooves you to make sure that Jesus you serve is the biblical Jesus. And I hope you got some understanding in Jesus' name. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Oh, mama, don't you cry. It's gonna be all right. Don't you cry. Don't you cry. my time to go then lay me down till my change come I will resist Lord oh Lord let thy will be done cause when I wake it will be in thy likeness will the war on Iraq be the final war to lead us to Armageddon or are there yet more signs to be fulfilled? For the answer, continue to watch thy kingdom come and call now regarding our Armageddon package. Amen. 